Hey guys, welcome to another Instagram Stories Week in Review. Me and Lambo just edited this whole thing for you guys so that you guys can enjoy it. Every single week I put Lambo to work uh, editing my Instagram Stories so that you guys can enjoy them. Look, look at him. He's tired, he's exhausted from work. So anyway, speaking of which, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of these Instagram Stories and... Uh, if you want to watch more after you finish this, please follow me on Instagram. Check me out on Instagram and you can see me posting things live as I go along through the day, every day. All right. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy these Instagram stories that Lambo helped me produce. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys mañana. See you guys next week. See you guys every single day. You guys already know where I am. Here, I'm here, right here. Okay, watch these. Que igual voy a salir. Say hi. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. I just uh, finished filming. I was trying to see if I can use my. It's a little small mic instead of the bigger mic that I normally use. And I think the sound came out okay, but I'd rather use the bigger mic. It's a lot better. That's what she said. But anywho. All right, so I'm about to start editing this thing. I'm already transferring the files to the computer. And we're going to edit this thing real quick. See, we already got everything going here. And uh, see you guys in a little bit. For all you guys out there that are always wondering if size does matter, I'll let you guys be the judge. So this is the mic I use today. This is the mic I normally use. Oof! Sure as hell looks hot. Well, anyways. No excuses. I'm about to head out, do some recording, run some errands. You already know the deal. So um, I'll see you in a little bit. Maybe I'll shoot a few adventures. Not, nah, whatever. You'll see. See you in a couple minutes, hours. Who knows? <laughs> No, ese es ir sumando los valores de todo, ¿no? Por ejemplo, 25 de la, de la cuchara, 15 de esto, 35, 25. I'm back home after coming back from the health food store. The reason I couldn't go to Walmart is because I left my wallet at home. Well, I thought I lost it, but I just got back home and I found it. Thank God. But one thing I did get to do was film an episode, and not just film an episode, but actually I made a nice networking contact there. Um, I was at the store talking to the guy for over an hour about all kinds of stuff, and uh, yeah, man, everything happens for a reason. And so now I'm about to step out again um, to go to the store and do what I needed to do to begin with. And um, this time around, now I have another topic to discuss in my next episode, which I'm about to film as well. Yep, just out here, sitting on the bench, taking a little break because uh, my camera overheated. Not me, I'm not overheated. It was my camera, I swear. Man, I've been here for about an hour and I can't find shit. In fact, the only fucking pair that I found is missing a shoe. I found another pair of shoes that I might end up buying, but the one I want, I'm missing a shoe. Story of my life. Alright, I think I found some shoes. Well, it's the only shoes really that they got that I can use. Sure, they suck and they're ugly as hell, but hey, I guess at this point I can't really be picky and I just gotta go with what they got, so. I got like these big ass fucking like uh, work shoes, nurse shoes, but I think they're working and feel my knees and feet kind of feeling a little better. We'll give it a shot. Well, they still got that 30-day uh, return policy thingy that they have uh, pretty much everywhere. So, 
you know, wear them around and hopefully um, they help and uh, we'll go from there. I got, I got, uh, got good, hope, high hopes for them. All right, so I'm here in the tool section, in the men's section. You know, even though I don't have a car, I just want to hang out here for a little bit because I spent so much time fucking shopping for shoes that I feel a little effeminate. <laughs> I know, I, these jokes write themselves. So now my feet hurt, but my knees feel better. So that's for sure. I can even feel my posture getting a little better. So it's going to work in progress. Probably going to have my feet hurt for a little bit, but it's all good. Not really complaining. Just gotta make sure that you know I gotta keep those knees up in uh, up in shape. So it is what it is. We're gonna give these shoes a try. I really, really hope that they work. I really hope that they get uh, my feet and my knees back into you know regular shape. All right, just finished playing my favorite game in the whole world, Walmart Tetris. All right, I got two bags full of stuff. I'm on my way back. See you guys in a bit. By the way, did you guys catch that bird that was flying around in here? <laughs> that was hilarious. Alrighty, took a nice shower. Back to work. Starting to unload all the shit that I filmed today with this sucker. Uh, got about three episodes plus what I filmed earlier today and already edited. So, yeah, buddy. Now, my usual schedule is that, like, I just make, like, one video a day. But just because of time constraints due to so many things in my life at the moment, I just, I'm always with my camera and I'm always filming as much as I can. You know, just simply because um, there's so much content that I want to make. I want to have at least one video upload a day and so on and so forth. So in order for me to do that, I got to put in that work. And I got to figure it out. I mean, you know. It's easy, it's fun. You know, you guys are joining me all the time. The Blue Oyster. Alright, so... You can catch me here um, Tuesdays and Wednesday nights, okay? I perform as Madame Josefina. Early in the maybe 20, 30 minutes we've been here, went from raw materials of a huge raw piece of uh, leather to... Just taking a break, waiting on my tacos. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going out there? Happy May Day, happy hump day. Well, what's May Day? It's uh, International Workers Day. So with that being said, let's get to work. Alrighty, well, been working all day. You're about to turn this thing off and get the hell out of here. Um, I'm gonna go to Ed Centro, see if I can get some supplies, some stuff. But I keep t people keep telling me that things are going to be closed today because it's uh, Labor Day, May Day, whatever. Um, I really hope not. But whatever, I'm going to go. I hope I don't have to go again tomorrow, but fuck it. It is what it is. I'm taking my camera with me. You already know. Damn, so I'm walking out here and it's like a ghost town for the most part. Everything is literally closed. I think I'm going to turn around. <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to make it all the way to the to the center and I'll just uh, do it tomorrow. This kind of sucks. Well, what are we gonna do? So see, people do actually close and do nothing here in their Labor Day. All right, well, back home. I see you, buddy. I see you. All right. I'm going to let you go. Look, there he is. He's right there. <laughs> Today really is a, a holiday that they take serious out here. I was just walking around the few blocks around the house. And, yeah, man, it's like a desert, desert town or whatever, like a ghost town out here. Everybody really is uh, 
either at home because you could hear almost every single home busy we you know with people inside the home um, very little traffic a lot of people um, just you know you see a lot of car parked cars and more importantly than anything else all the businesses are pretty much closed you know everything outside of the you know just a typical um, you know liquor store or a little convenience store what have you but pretty much everything's closed huh. just finished doing an interview with uh, a good friend of mine that I'm gonna be posting up uh, next week talking about all kinds of cool stuff I'm leaving it very vague because uh, since what you're watching now is obviously gonna well actually what it is is just a brand new format a little bit of a podcast type of thing you know something I want to do um, you know just to keep expanding my horizons just doing all kinds of content just having fun with all this I mean hell yeah you guys are having fun right air um, live right now and I'm gonna air on Sunday as well way before the other thing airs but I hope you guys enjoy it well whatever it is morning happy Monday welcome back hope you guys hope you guys had a wonderful weekend out there I sure as hell did just waking up now it's like 6 30 7 a.m. got my coffee about to pour it you already know just came from a morning walk freaking hot and humid out there already woof and it was actually pretty cool in the house until I started walking out there anyways um, I needed to go see a dentist so I decided to go check out a few dentists around the area first you know before I go further away and um, yeah sure enough I found a pretty good dentist like a couple blocks away and uh, I'm gonna go see him for my cleanup checkup in about an hour and a half or so hell yeah oh yeah I just realized you guys are probably curious as to how much the cost of that is well it's uh, 25 to 30 US dollars to get a major cleanup checkup the whole nine yards not bad just hanging out in the waiting room to get these teeth cleans. <laughs> what we all do at some point, right? Like once every 10 years. Alrighty. Well, just left the dentist. I feel so fresh and so clean, clean. Um, I fucking hated it because dentists fucking suck. But it was great though. It was fucking great. It was a super nice guy. He uh, helped me out with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and yeah, really cool. Recommended. Uh, recommended experience uh five stars on yelp or whatever but yeah great guy great dentist it was fun and uh cheap well as i was running some errands i came by a local glasses shop and i was able to get me some glasses and they're making them right now so i should have some new glasses and real soon around uh, 50 bucks well how do I look some new glasses hey listen I don't go fuck how I really look as long as I can fucking see all right so that's all that matters so if you had that me again around 50 US dollars for the whole thing It is getting hot in here, so please take off all your clothes. Holla. <laughs> Anyways, I just came back from the street. Yes, it's fucking crazy hot. I was just filming uh, tomorrow's episode. We're going to be talking about medical costs out here in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right, let's get back to work. Mm, chicken. Just making dinner.
Yeah, <clears throat> so it just poured like a million gallons of water down in one second. So one of the things that happened with this humongous deluge was, you see this down here? All this was like a giant puddle all the way up to here. It's a lot of water. It was like two, two, three gallons of water that now we're downstairs. Let's assess the damage here. Do you see the door here? We came in through here. I, I was already down here trying to get some of this out. But yes, look. There was a lot more. It was a lot more than that. Like came in through the window because it was raining like this way, you know, like sideways, like it's in Forrest Gump. And uh, yeah, it just came in through, you know, the windows and shit. And I, I, the downstairs is probably. All right, not bad at all. So we got still half an hour before game time, AKA my live stream. So I'm gonna see if I can just uh, clean up a little bit, dry off and uh, rest for a couple minutes so I can get started on the live stream. Whoa, it's hot and humid. Thank God I got this baby going. See if I can cool off for a little bit. At least it's already nighttime, or it's gonna be nighttime real soon, so it's gonna be a nice, cool night. Amen. As quickly as it started, st stopped. Look how still, look how still. This shit was like, the tree was uh, flying so, it, it was like all the way over here. able to get it started in time we're live streaming still early people are just showing up we're watching hail satan satanism is making a comeback it seems seems like they're fucking putting churches everywhere huh holy guacamole well i used to know about this you know the say church of satan or long ass time ago it's uh, kind of funny it's making a comeback huh interesting Diaz, how's it going out there, guys? And welcome back. Another morning, more laundry to do. You already know. I got the coffee going over there, and uh, yeah, trying to get this morning started right. Today's plan for the day: uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, get this laundry going, and see if I can get to El Centro and uh, buy a couple things from the store before it actually gets like a zillion degrees outside, and then come back home and get to work. Alrighty, well, I'm here in El Centro. Uh, just finished uh, one short store. I already finished uh, filming an episode. Now I'm on my way to the next store, and god dang, it's hot. So, one of the things that uh, pays off for you to do out here is to do a little bargain shopping. You know, if you find a product that you want, um, you're probably gonna find it a lot cheaper somewhere else sometimes. So for example, like uh, there was this one thing I wanted to buy and it cost me, well, the price was like around 125 pesos. So I just looked around, went to a few other pharmacies and bam, I found the same thing for 15 pesos. So literally from almost, you know, from $6 all the way down to less than a dollar. Look, you see that fucking tower over there? I don't know what the fuck that is, but seems like they just put that up almost overnight. I don't know where the hell that came from. I'm in the middle of a centro, as you guys can see. Look, by the way, the Mexican flag is at half mast or whatever. I don't know. I hate pointing, but whatever. But anyways, I don't know what the hell that is, man. It looks like a fucking giant guard tower, fucking weird, crazy shit. It does not look good. Alrighty, well, I'm on my way back home. Should be there in like around 10 minutes, give or take. And then I gotta go and, uh... Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, look. 
See, I, I see. So I just I, that's the first time I ever seen someone. Uh, they literally did something illegal. They took a red light. They literally uh, and and the cop, you know, even honked at him, kind of like giving him a warning. It seemed like the guy was uh, kind of telling the cop to go fuck himself. And then the cop got pissed, and then he chased him. But see, look, look, look at how different it is here. You know what I mean? Like where in the U.S., it's doesn't go that way per se. You know what I mean? Oh my God! Is that a bird? Is that a plane? Oh no, it's chemtrails. Yeah, look, we got chemtrails out here too. I don't know if you guys can see them. Hopefully they're not lethal. Round two, more coffee, just finished all laundry, shut up for a minute, <laughs> and uh, yeah, just uh, getting ready for my Twitch live stream later tonight, I'm going to see if I can go on D Live as well, we got Hugo out there uh, helping me out, see if we can get all that going, and uh, look at this guy hiding behind the fridge, I don't know why he hides back there, it's like at the hottest spot in the house, maybe he likes warm soft spots. You're about to witness the birth of a video. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, don't worry. Uh, uh, uh. Just push through, push through. It's coming, it's coming. I'm doing my live show, as usual. And man, what a buzzkill. I just got a fucking little text saying that I gotta go pay my phone bill or else. So I'm gonna leave the horse in charge while I go do that. Alrighty, so I was able to successfully pay the phone bill, as you can see from this upload, as proof. Alright, alright, I'm back. Hopefully uh, Lambo didn't leave too much of a mess. Let's go check it out. Lambo! What the fuck are you doing, man? We're back. Say hi. 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 Yeah, I'm high. Aren't you high? It's all about that reefer madness. <laughs> oh, she's sleepy. Too much work. Actually, thank God I love what I do. It just uh, becomes addicting at at some point. So, anyways, I'm gonna get to bed. See you guys manana. Jose mad, Jose angry, Jose sleepy, mmm, coffee, Jose feel much better, <laughs> mi cafecito. As you guys already know, short day today, I'm gonna get my coffee ready, I'm gonna upload all these videos uh, like I usually do so you can have them for Sunday, and uh, I'm gonna go have some fun with my honey bunny. Ah! I'm most likely gonna be, uh, throwing on a shirt at some point and on top of that I'm also gonna be still doing these little Instagram stories for show because uh, we're gonna be going out doing a bunch of stuff this weekend so join me for the mayhem as you guys already know it's not good to stand next to a light because you look at the look at that okay but besides that today is a really short day because um, it's Friday and uh, I usually end up finishing these Instagram stories so I can load them up so you can watch them on Sunday. Uh, but please, stay tuned and keep watching me this weekend. I'm going to be doing all kinds of fun stuff this weekend. Uh, just not going to be on here as much as I usually am, but I will be here. So whatever. Hey, have a great weekend. I'll see you guys in a little bit. You already know what time it is. Time for the weekend, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, me and Lambo are going to check out for the rest of the weekend. I'll be here. I'm going to be uploading a bunch of these things. Um, as you guys can see, I'm addicted to the, uh, filming these things, and you guys love them so much. But I got a lot of things coming up tonight. I got stuff coming up tomorrow, Sunday, the whole nine. So hopefully 
you guys can uh, can join me, Lambo, and uh, whoever decides to join us this weekend. Wink, wink. And uh, hopefully we can have a great time. But regardless, thank you so much for joining me this week and watching these uh, Instagram stories, Instagram videos. It was so much fun. Me and Lambo love making these things for you. And uh, we're going to continue making them no matter what because uh, they're fun. And uh, that's it. All right, guys. Well, hope you guys enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you guys in a little bit because I'll still be here. I promise. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me. Coca-Cola. No Coca-Cola for me.